What is up guys, Yellow Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 2 of my NBA 2K18 prelude series. Now, um, in the last episode I showed you guys the whole build of my character, showed you what his skill sets are going to be, showed you what um, his height and all that is. I just figured I'd throw this in there, incorporate this at the beginning of this video, just in case some of you guys happen to miss that video or happen to miss that part, or just something came in the way of you watching that. Here's an opportunity for you guys to see exactly what archetype skills I am, what position I am, that way when you actually get in, you're watching me actually play with this character, you know what um, skills I have that are you know allowing me to do the moves that I'm doing and why I'm playing the way that I'm playing. So there's a few um, cutscenes coming up right here, so I'm going to be quiet, let you guys watch these cutscenes, and I'll see you guys once uh, the actual gameplay starts starting. Uh, so I'm good then? You're good, yeah. We'll announce the first game in just a little bit. But, in the meantime, you can get this over there. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you! You're so welcome. Yo, isn't that Ronnie 2K next to Russ? Yo, there's lots of people here. There goes Rachel from NBA 2K TV over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, maybe I should introduce myself. Yeah, why is that? Cause I'm gonna be on the cover of 2K one day. <laughs> you better pump your brakes, son. Yo, what up, ATM? What up, dog? Pump my brakes? We only gas up around here, man. And who are you anyways? I'm DJ. You remember me? First name D, last name J. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ. Oh, hey, I know you. You were the kid that quit ball for a couple years and tried to be the next Funk Flex. Right. I mean, what happened? DJ ain't paying out for you? Now, what you need to be doing is worrying about making it to that showdown game at the end. That's where all the good players, all the dudes who's been real about this life, that's what we gonna do. So who are you? ATM. Oh, I like that, because you play like money. You're a smart man. My mama calls me Lou. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see you in the showdown. Lou Money. That's me. Listen up, everyone. Yo, listen up. Welcome to the Proving Ground. The games are about to get underway. So players, Listen for your assignments, then head on up to the court. Get ready to ball. Let's go. Boom! Okay, so here we are in some free roam mode. Uh, needless to say, it's kind of cool having this whole free roam uh, capability, being able to walk around a little bit, see a few things. I think once that full playground or, like, you know, little downtown city gets available, uh, I'm really excited for all that, being able to, um, you know, go to the barber shop, go to the gym, uh, I guess the gym's actually based off an energy-based system this year. That's why I've been hearing from some of my friends. And what that means is, you know, last year you had to grind for your free throw running, you had to grind for your um, upgraded skill points, I guess, uh, and you had to wait and play every few games in order to do that. Well, since they're making it available this game to max out your level, even if you don't want to play my career, I guess now you can go to the gym based off energy. Um, don't know how you unlock the energy. I don't know if it's based off the time scale, if you have to, like... Um, I don't know if, if you have to wait a couple of days or wait a couple of hours till you can train again. Don't know how it's going to be. We're, we're not probably going to know about that until the game actually fully releases. Um, but to my limited knowledge, I do know uh, that's going to be based off energy-based system. So right here, I'm going to roll with the Kyrie Irving jump shot. Uh, not just because it's the base jump shot that they give you, but just because I wanted to build my guy after Kyrie Irving. And I happen to just be rolling with this jump shot. A lot of, a lot of shots going in when I'm pulling this one. Um, and I happen to be a fan of it. So uh, this is the jump shot I'm going to be rolling with. You're going to see here pretty soon I'm going to be running over uh to the the actual you know scrimmaging area itself um now uh, this is not a live commentary you guys don't realize but i'm gonna be happy just to commentate over the game once it comes around so you guys some some cuts or not cuts but animations i'm really happy about that came available in this game um so with that being the case i'm gonna let this cutscene roll for a second i'll see you guys once we're in the first game uh here at the playground
Hey, that's true. Hey, let's get this one. Let's get this one. Let's get it. What's going on, big man? How you doing? What's up, bro? What's good? Hey. Give me some room. We don't need that. No. All right, here we are at the proving ground. You see, throwback magic Shaquille O'Neal in the background there. We got to impress once we got him rolling with us. Um, so I ended up rolling with a 2K low camera for this this game right here. Um, I think I moved it back to 2K a couple of games later, or maybe even later in this game. Not quite sure, but um, realize uh, I'm not going to be all that talented in this first game. Uh, you got to realize first off, I'm used to NBA Live mechanics, and uh, whenever you, you're getting new, used to new, or a new game, a new 2K especially, you don't know what moves are going to work and how they edited. Um, what shots are going to go in. So it's always a little bit of a learning curve for the first couple of uh, games that you're playing. Um, but progressively, you'll notice a little bit of improvement um, between, obviously, me and, and the operation of my player. But um, one thing I wanted to mention was I did choose to be friendly with ATM. I guess there's a much different storyline if you, you decide to be a dick with him. It kind of determines whether he's going to be your rival or be your friend. Um, I just went more the friendly route just because that's, I think, kind of a natural uh, response for me. I, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't really think that being a dick was the way to go in that situation, but um, in hindsight, I probably wish I did, because that new that storyline where he's your rival seems a little bit more uh, exciting, though it has a little bit more um, value to it, poss uh, possibly, but anyway, you're about to be rolling with, with this guy right here. Like I said, try to pull him after a Kyrie Irving, um, so once I get the, the dribble moves down, or once I actually get an upgraded dribbling um, level, and these are some bad shots, but this is the whole point of the demo, to see what shots go in how much contested shots affect your shot still and um but we also do have to realize we're playing on pro difficulty so once we actually go into the habit of playing online which i believe is all-star or something like that or playing offline where i always play hall of fame um, i'm going to notice that there's going to be some more difficulties obviously in scoring or distributing the ball or things of that nature so um that okay yeah that one right there is going to end up actually my my first made shot of this game or, or, or of this whole entire prelude uh, technically in terms of game mode so getting used to this player is still a little bit um it's it's a little bit of a, of a learning curve like i said I, I was always an athletic small forward i always chose to be a forward that's what i said in the last video um of the prelude and and first off not being an athletic build is kind of a weird adjustment for me and then obviously not being 6 8 to 6 10 uh you notice a bit of a disadvantage uh, when you don't have as much height but you then also find advantages because you're going up against a much smaller opponent and because you notice that you're significantly faster than what you once were. But there we go. Step one. That's animation I like right there. We're running down court. Got that pump fake. Um, I like how it wasn't just an animation pump fake like a typical one. He really went up like up on his tippy toes to really sell that fake. Um, and I thought that that one looked really good. I kind of wish I just pulled that pump fake and then just shot it. Um, probably would have gone in rather than. But I, like I said, I was doing a little bit too much this game. Uh, primarily not because I thought a lot of these shots were going to go in, but because I wanted to get an idea of what shots would go in once the game fully released, uh, and I was able to play a little bit more. And and I think it was a pretty good uh, testing area for me to, to try all that out. I was kind of getting bullied here on the defensive end. This dude was just blown by me. I, I don't know what was going on there, but um, I was struggling a little bit. But I, I really genuinely cannot wait for this full game to come out. I also, uh, on a secondary account of mine, I created a... Um, a second build and that second build is going to be a, a shot creator but the secondary skill set's going to be athletic finisher or actually it might be athletic first then shot creator something like that uh, and I'm going to show you guys some clips of that build um, after I finish the clips of this guy and the reason I'm going to do that is oh and this funny offensive rebound that was a funny putback right there but the reason I'm doing that is I want to show you guys a few different builds uh, or at, at least two before the full game comes out just so you guys can get an idea um, of what skill set uh, applies to each I do want to put it out there that this is going to be the final build that I end up going with. Um, not because he's necessarily better than the athletic player. Because um, actually the athletic player might have been a bit more dominant in hindsight. I uh, just remember playing with that player. I was just killing it. Um, but genuinely, I would just have a lot more fun being able to just shoot a little bit, score a little bit off the dribble. Like I said, Kyrie is my favorite player. So being able to play like him um, would be you know just a really fun opportunity for me. Right there, though, got completely killed in that, that rebound by... Uh, ankle bracelets I believe that's who that was anyways I had some fun with these cutscenes. I thought it was funny that people, you know you're with your you're running with your squad and they're freaking out about the fact that somebody throws down a dunk which we're not even that somebody made a three and they start freaking out when that's a pretty normal thing that happens in a game of basketball um, especially if we're all supposed to, supposedly supposed to be like very good um, 
But I'm figuring out, I don't know. Uh, last year, remember, we had um, Alabaster, the, the college friend. If you guys remember last year's storyline, when you were in college, you had your dude Alabaster. Now, this storyline appears that your guy is supposed to be ATM. Um, but I don't know if he's going to die out like Alabaster did. Alabaster had no influence on the storyline past uh, college. And I'm starting to think ATM may be the same thing. Or, I mean, who knows? Maybe he will have some influence. Second off, what I wanted to talk about and something I'm interested in. Um, and I don't personally think this is going to be the case. But my friend was hoping, uh, obviously, once you start this, you're able to choose your team. Now, if you guys didn't realize, I cut that part out of the last editing video. That's because I want to kind of surprise you guys with what team I decide to go with with this player. Um, up until the point that the, the scout actually talks to me. My friend was saying, though, he was hoping that... Um, that's not actually how the storyline goes, that you actually still get drafted. Uh, he was saying that he thinks that we just chose the team for the prelude purposes. But I'm, I'm thinking personally um, that that is actually going to be your team once you play the game. So that's why I hit the team. Uh, and that was, okay, that animation is awesome. That layup animation is so sick. That's such a realistic animation. Um, so that's another one that, that really excited me for the upcoming game. Um but uh, I was I was going somewhere. Yeah, but okay. I, I think I don't think there's gonna be a draft this year. I think don't know if we're supposed to be an undrafted player or what the um hmm, what the idea is supposed to be there behind all that. Um, for all you know, the idea is you get picked number one, you get traded down. I mean, who knows? We're gonna find out. Either way, we're either we're gonna end the game with a three pointer. A cutscene's about to come up. I'm not gonna spoil this one. So it's gonna end, be the end of the video. I'm gonna show you guys just the first game in this one. I'll show you guys the second game in the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. What's the next step? You need to learn to eat what you kill. You guys got to make a little moolah -la, la at this at some point, right? And when you're ready for that, you call me. You, sir. Moves. Moves. Amazing. Hey, man, don't forget my boy DJ. He need a car. He got skills. Of course. You play hard, you get a car. Ah, call me. Don't lose that. All right. Best players on the court. Right over here. You got well, amazing. I know, too. Yeah, well, check it yeah, out. Yeah, I see him at these events from time to time. We always looking for new clients. Oh, so you were trolling me with that intro then, huh? Yeah, now you catching on. But you better get ready to impress. Almost time for that last game before the showdown.